Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be demonstrating how to use for loops to get multiple user input. So what we want to get, do in this program is get four numbers from the user, um, to find their sum and then calculate the average and display that average to the user. So to do that we'll start off by declaring two variables as type uh, double. So that's going to be our number variable and sum and both of type double. Okay, now to start off with sum needs to start with zero. This is because it needs to have an initial value before we can update it later. Because what we're going to do is we're going to uh, keep track of the sum of each number that is entered by the user into our sum variable. So it needs to start off with an initial value and obviously we don't want it to have anything other than zero initially. This is the part where we write our for loop. So we're going to start with declaring an integer i starting with zero and then i we only want four numbers and incrementing that by one each time. I'd like my loop to end here actually so I'm just gonna do that so I can keep the comments in between. So here's what's gonna what, what's going to happen is we're going to hard code the value 4 as we want the loop to run only 4 times. Then we want to get entry from the user. Before we get entry from the user, we want to let the user know uh, what they have to do. So I'm going to use the write method and, and send a message to the user, enter a number. Now the reason why I've used the write method instead of the write line is so we can get user's entry on the same line each time we get a number from the user. Okay, what we want to do then is um, store that number that is going to be entered by the user into our number variable. And okay, so what's happening is this part is going to read a string. And we're trying to fit it into a variable that is type of type double. So what we need to do is we need to convert the entry that is coming from the user to double so we can store it into our number variable, which is also a double. So to do that, we'll use the uh, to double method to convert the string into a double. Now we're all good. Okay, this part here is where we need to update some to add this new number. So let's do that sum and let's do the short way of doing that. So just plus equal to number, which is also equivalent, uh, same as sum is equal to sum plus number. Okay, so once we have our sum, it is now easy to compute the average. It's sum divided by four. But what we want to do is we want to store that into a variable it's going to be also of type um, double. Let's call it average. And then this is specifically good if you are using this average in multiple places in your program. Um, you can just put it into a variable and just use that value. So it was sum divided by four, as we mentioned here. And just speaking in, uh, in C sharp language. Then. Now we want to display the average to the user. We, go, we are going to use the right line method. So I could copy this message and, oh, sorry, so we've got the control, right line. And now what we want to do is change the message. The average is now what we can do to print our average to two decimal places is we can use the fixed point format specifier which I spoke about the video that is right before this. So I think it was uh, video 6 and um, I want to specify this to be printed to two decimal places. So here's what we have. Let's give this a run. Uh, we should have tested this before but yeah we just just remembered that we should be doing that now. So let's do the same numbers that we used in our Java video. I think it was two, three, four, and five. That gives us an average of 3.5. And if I change this into one decimal place, it's gonna display that last value to one decimal place instead. 
Okay, so 3.5. Um, and uh, that's about it. So I hope this video helps you uh, into writing the same program that we did for Java, but in C Sharp. And um, stay tuned for the next video where we actually get this value from the user rather than hard coding it um, just like this. So stay tuned for that.